Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim. And today uh, what I want to talk to you about is another one of the specialty uh, Tetrix Max pieces or parts or kits that we offer and that's the Tank Tread Kit. Now you can get this in several ways. Um, you can get a, an actual Tank Tread Kit that would contain several things, the rollers, the sprocket, the links themselves all in one kit. Or actually you can break those out and get um, the separate items as you need them. So uh, it's a very versatile way to um, uh, apply um, treads or uh, a tread type of a, a mechanism into your robots. I've got a couple examples here that um, maybe to show and one of the most common ones that we think about is actually putting treads on our robots as a means of, of uh, motion or a drive system. Uh, where we put the sprocket on our motor and then we use the rollers and we create a belt of a links uh, to create a, a tread system. Uh, and then, but one of the ways that maybe we don't think about so often is using these in, in the means of a, a, a conveyor system or another way of transmitting uh, rotational motion into a linear direction. Uh, now one of the things that you see on this particular belt is uh, one of the uh, extra items that's available. And if you look at these, um, these tank tread links, one of the things that we did when uh, Paul, uh, our designer, uh, created these was he created a T-slot in the top of that link that allowed us to actually add extra things. So, uh, for instance, there's uh, paddles that you can get as extra items with the Tetrix hole pattern on them that would slide into um, that T-slot. You can get rubber inserts that slide into that T-slot just like this. Uh, and so you can see that you can then create um, a belt system that has um, maybe some additional rubber um, um, traction uh, to create additional traction. Um, or you can simply, like I said, use them in, in as many uh, links or uh, put them together and create belts of different links uh, however long that you want. Um, so this is one of the things that um, again we hope that you will explore and find very useful in your robots whether you're creating a drive system like this or uh, an actual conveyor system or a way of, of uh, transmitting um, a part or piece uh, from um, point A to point B um, through that uh, linear motion. So um, that's the tank tread kit. Uh, we hope that you uh, again found this uh, beneficial and interesting and maybe can find a way to put those into uh, your robot. So we're looking forward to seeing those and uh, come back and see us and have a great day.